Welcome back to the channel Longevity Seekers. We've got an incredible topic for you today. Imagine a world where we could slow aging, reduce age-related diseases and extend our healthy years into our later decades. This isn't just a dream from a science fiction novel anymore. A groundbreaking study published in Nature in 2024 has brought us one step closer to this reality. Today we're diving into research that could revolutionize how we approach aging and longevity offering a hopeful future for anti-aging therapies. In the bustling research labs of Duke New S Medical School in Singapore, a team of scientists led by Dr. Anissa Wijaja and Professor Stuart Cook made a discovery. Sending shockwaves through the scientific community, they've uncovered a protein called interleukin-11, or IL-11 for short, that plays a previously unknown role in aging. Now, what exactly is IL-11? It's a type of protein known as a cytokine which acts as a signaling molecule in our immune system. Typically, these immune signals are protective, helping our bodies fight off infections and heal injuries. However, as it turns out, IL-11 has a dark side regarding aging. The researchers found that as we age, levels of IL-11 increase throughout our bodies. This isn't just a harmless side effect of aging. It actively contributes to many of the problems we associate with aging. It's like IL-11 is the conductor of an aging orchestra, directing various processes that lead to decline. To understand why this discovery is so important, we must take a step back and look at what we know about aging. It's not just about wrinkles and gray hair. At a biological level, aging involves a complex interplay of various processes. Our cells gradually lose their ability to function correctly. Our metabolism slows down. Inflammation increases. Our tissues become less able to repair themselves all of these factors contribute to the decline we experience as we age. What's fascinating about the IL-11 discovery is that it involves multiple aspects of aging. By manipulating IL-11, the researchers could simultaneously influence several of these aging processes. So how did they figure this out? The team used a meticulous combination of genetic engineering and drug interventions in mice. They created mice that lacked either the gene for IL-11 or its receptor. They also developed an antibody that could block IL-11 signaling. This rigorous process allowed them to study what happens when IL-11 is absent throughout life and what occurs when you inhibit it later in life, instilling confidence in the validity of the findings. The results were nothing short of remarkable. On average, mice lacking the IL-11 gene lived nearly 25% longer than normal mice. Even more exciting, when they gave the anti-IL-11 antibody to mice already in middle age, equivalent to humans in their mid-50s. These mice still lived 22 to 25% longer than untreated mice. But it wasn't just about living longer. The mice that had IL-11 inhibited showed a range of health improvements. They maintained better metabolic health with improved glucose tolerance and insulin sensitivity. They kept more lean muscle mass and had less body fat. On physical strength and coordination tests, they performed better than their untreated counterparts, showing less age-related decline. At a cellular level, inhibiting IL-11 kept the mice more youthful. Their telomeres, protective caps on the ends of chromosomes that shorten with age, stayed longer. Their mitochondria, the powerhouses of cells, remained more abundant and healthier. These are critical markers of cellular youth and health. The benefits extended to disease prevention as well. The mice with inhibited IL-11 signaling had fewer visible tumors in old age, suggesting a potential protective effect against cancer. So how does IL-11 exert such a powerful influence on aging? The researchers found that it activates several crucial cellular signaling pathways. These include pathways involved in cell growth, metabolism regulation, and energy sensing. IL-11 creates a pro-aging environment in our cells and tissues by activating these pathways. When IL-11 is inhibited, it's like taking the foot off the accelerator of aging at a molecular level. The effects of IL-11 inhibition on various tissues in the body are particularly fascinating. One of the most striking findings was its impact on visceral white adipose tissue or VWAT. This fat accumulates around our organs and is particularly associated with metabolic problems as we age. The researchers found that IL-11 inhibition had a powerful effect on this tissue. In mice treated with the anti-IL-11 antibody, VWAT showed significant improvements in several key areas. First, there was a reduction in the overall amount of this problematic fat but more importantly, the quality of the remaining fat tissue changed. The researchers observed an increase in the expression of genes associated with mitochondrial function in the fat cells. Mitochondria are crucial for energy metabolism. As we age, 
mitochondrial function typically declines, contributing to metabolic problems. IL-11 inhibition boosts mitochondrial health in fat tissue, explaining many metabolic benefits observed in the treated mice. Another intriguing finding was the effect on inflammation within the fat tissue. Chronic low-grade inflammation is a hallmark of aging and is particularly problematic in adipose tissue. The researchers found that IL-11 inhibition reduced the infiltration of immune cells into the fat tissue. This is significant because the presence of these immune cells, particularly a type called macrophages, is associated with increased inflammation and metabolic dysfunction. By reducing this immune cell infiltration, IL-11 inhibition may help break the cycle of inflammation that contributes to age-related metabolic decline. One of the most intriguing effects of IL-11 inhibition on fat, however, was the observation of the browning of white fat. As we age, we tend to accumulate more white fat associated with metabolic problems. The researchers found that inhibiting IL-11 promoted this browning. Brown fat is metabolically active and helps burn calories. This fat browning could explain some metabolic benefits of IL-11 inhibition, including better glucose control and resistance to weight gain. The benefits of IL-11 inhibition weren't limited to fat tissue, however. The liver, another critical metabolic organ, also showed significant improvements. As we age, our livers tend to accumulate fat and develop fibrosis, a kind of scarring that can impair liver function. The researchers observed that mice treated with the anti-IL-11 antibody had reduced liver fibrosis and improved overall liver function. This is particularly exciting because liver health is crucial for overall metabolic health and has wide-ranging effects on the body. The liver plays a central role in processing nutrients, producing essential proteins and clearing toxins from the body. IL-11 inhibition could have cascading benefits throughout the body by improving liver health. The big question on everyone's mind is, what does this mean for human health and longevity? While it's crucial to remember that this research was conducted in mice, there are several reasons to be optimistic about its potential for humans. First, the IL-11 protein and its signaling pathways are highly conserved between mice and humans. This means the biological mechanisms uncovered in this study will likely function similarly in our bodies. The researchers also found that IL-11 levels increase with age in human tissues, mirroring the pattern seen in mice. Another promising aspect is that anti-IL-11 therapies are already in early-stage clinical trials for other conditions, such as fibrotic lung disease. This existing research provides valuable safety data and could accelerate the path to human trials for anti-aging applications. It is particularly encouraging that significant benefits were seen when treatment was started in middle-aged mice. Interventions later in life could still have substantial impacts on health and lifespan. This is important because it means that even if we start treatment in our 50s or 60s, we still see significant benefits. The multifaceted effects of IL-11 inhibition are also noteworthy. Many proposed anti-aging interventions target only one or two aspects of aging, but the IL-11 approach simultaneously addresses multiple hallmarks of aging. This holistic impact on metabolism, inflammation, cellular senescence, and tissue function could lead to more comprehensive health benefits in humans. However, it's important to temper our excitement with caution. The journey from mouse studies to effective human therapies is long and often challenging. Many treatments that show promise in animal models fail to replicate their effects in humans. Additionally, the complex nature of human aging, influenced by diverse genetic and environmental factors, means that results may vary significantly between individuals. Despite these caveats, the IL-11 discovery opens up exciting new avenues for anti-aging research. It provides a fresh target for drug development and a new lens to understand the aging process. The researchers are planning further studies to understand better how IL-11 interacts with other known aging pathways and explore its effects in different tissues and organs. This research also highlights the importance of studying inflammation in the context of aging. Chronic low-grade inflammation, often called inflammaging, is increasingly recognized as a critical driver of age-related decline. The IL-11 discovery adds to our understanding of how the immune system and inflammatory processes change as we age, and how these changes contribute to overall health and longevity. Looking ahead, the potential applications of this research are vast. If these findings translate to humans, we could see the development of new therapies that extend lifespan and significantly improve quality of life in our later years. Imagine treatments that could delay or prevent age-related diseases like diabetes, heart disease and cancer. 
or interventions that could help maintain muscle strength, cognitive function, and metabolic health well into old age. Of course, as with any potential anti-aging intervention, ethical and societal implications must be considered. If we develop therapies that can significantly extend health span and lifespan, how will this impact our social structures, healthcare systems and concepts of retirement? We'll need to grapple with these essential questions as the science progresses. As this research progresses, it will be crucial to conduct long-term studies to understand the effects of IL-11 inhibition over time fully. While the mouse studies showed promising results, humans live much longer and have more complex lifestyles and environments. We'll need to carefully assess the benefits and potential risks of long-term IL-11 inhibition in humans. The discovery of IL-11's role in aging and the detailed observations of its effects on different tissues represent a significant leap forward in our understanding of the aging process. This research provides a potential new target for anti-aging therapies and deepens our knowledge of how aging affects our bodies at a cellular and tissue level. As we look to the future, the IL-11 discovery is a testament to the power of curiosity-driven research. What started as an investigation into a little understood immune signaling molecule has blossomed into a finding that could reshape how we think about and approach aging. It reminds us that in science, sometimes the most profound discoveries come from unexpected places. The journey from this basic research to potential human therapies will be long and challenging, but it's filled with promise. Each step forward brings us closer to a future where we can extend not just the length of our lives, but the quality of those added years. And that's a future worth striving for.